Hey everyone, Flostrick here with another Alicia Online update video. I have two updates to look at today, so let's get this thing rolling. The update from last week features the last of the achievement books, the Paladin book. This book only unlocks when you've reached level 50. The achievements, however, aren't very hard, at least in my opinion. Shooting Star all you have to do to earn this medal is get first place in one speed single race that has a total of at least four players. So sadly, no 1v1 matches count here, but if you've got a few friends who will help or a very fast horse, you'll get this done in no time. One Man Army This achievement is nearly identical to the previous Shooting Star achievement, however for this one, you'll need to get first place in one magic single race. Again, like Shooting Star, there needs to be a total of at least four players in the race. Rocket Team One of the easier achievements of the bunch, this one wants your team to win a speed team race. Thankfully, you don't have to do anything special other than be on the winning team. Great Minds This achievement is identical to Rocket Team, except your team needs to win a magic team race. Show Jumper. This one can be a little time consuming. You need to perform 10 perfect jumps in a row. You'll know how many perfect jumps in a row you've accomplished by paying attention to the number that appears next to the words perfect jump that appear when you've made a perfect jump. However, you don't need to do this just once. You have to do this 30 times. To further explain, 10 perfect jumps in a row counts for one. If you do 20 perfect jumps in a row, that'll count for two. 30 in a row will count for three, and so on. But if you only do, say, five perfect jumps, and then you mess up the next jump, it won't count at all, and you'll have to start that chain of 10 all over again. Cha-Cha Slide. Easier than the name implies, this achievement wants you to simply slide for two seconds. You'll need to do 20 of these 2 second slides in order to earn this medal. Godspeed. All you have to do is perform a 4 booster combo and you've earned this medal quick as that. Need for Speed. The need for speed is very specific. It wants you to achieve a speed of at least 110 kilometers an hour. The horses don't run that speed normally. Usually they run around 80 something. So you'll want to use a speed boost of some kind, whether it's a phoenix feather in magic races or the speed boosters in speed races. It should be pretty easy to hit the speed. If you're having trouble, try chaining a booster. Each boost you add in the chain will increase your speed. Fun fact, for those of us who use the imperial system of measurement, 110 kilometers per hour is around 68 miles per hour. It's pretty fast. Just do it. You heard the title, just do it already! Stato has been waiting for you. Talk to Stato and play his balloon game and complete it within 31 seconds to complete this achievement. Streak Thief. So you may have noticed that team races are no longer the only races that pay attention to winning streaks. Single races also keep track of who has been on a winning streak and also applies a boost to the other players in the room. It's a great way of knowing which room to not stay in, am I right? Jokes aside, Streak Thief wants you to win a race against a player who has a streak of at least 3 wins. You also have to do this a total of three times, so you need to break three winning streaks of three or more. A lot of threes there. I recommend grabbing a friend to help you with this one. Right on time. We all know it's best to be fashionably late, but this achievement wants you there on time. Specifically, it wants you to perform a perfect boost. As I've explained in a previous video, to do a perfect boost, you must boost right before your current boost ends. It's a good habit to watch your gauge, but that isn't always easy to do when you're trying to watch the road so you don't wreck. Sometimes it's a good idea to also train your ears to the sound of the boosts, if that makes sense. It also helps if you're used to the horse you're riding and you know about how long his or her boosts last. And for the final achievement, Streak Breaker. 
Much like Streak Thief, Streak Breaker wants you to break a winning streak, but it must be done in team races. To further explain, your team needs to win against another team that has won at least three times in a row. Thankfully, you don't have to be the one to get first place. You just need your team to grab the win. Alright, so that was last week's update. As for this week, we got some new armor in the shop. This armor is actually from Alicia Online's version 2.0. If you don't know very much about Alicia Online's history, then you may not know why that's such a big deal. Maybe you didn't play the original Alicia Online before it shut down. I know I didn't. However, I won't waste too much of your time, but just know that the Alicia Online we're playing on is, I believe, considered to be the 1.0 version of Alicia Online. The game apparently had a lot of changes when 2.0 came around. I hear that one of those changes was that you could actually dismount your horse, and I've seen a lot of people on Facebook asking about when or if we're ever going to get that, and I think as it stands now, it's unknown. We probably won't, so don't think that we will, but we could, so don't think it's impossible. I think something like that. It's been a little while since I've read through the Facebook comments and stuff. Anyway, the armor set is the fortune teller set right here. We even get our own little crystal ball there on the side. That's pretty nice. I like the color. I like the nose band. I like how that looks. However, this set, its ability is that your magic bar fills faster. And personally, I think I'll just stick with the carrot chaser set because I prefer being able to hold a skill. Doesn't it hold a skill? I thought Carrot Chaser lets you hold a skill. You know, like when you get a skill and then your magic bar can keep filling. Huh. Anyway. Also, in the celebration of summer, bonus courses have returned along with an increased chance of seeing carnival additions. That makes this a great time to level up and earn gems, so be sure to hit the tracks as much as you can during the next three weeks. Last but not least, I got a new horse. Her name is Moonstone. Thank you, Karu Ao, or Karu Ao. I'm not sure. Would you would you say that with more the L or D sound like you would when you're pronouncing Japanese, like how H I R O in Japanese is Hiro? instead of hero or is that like is it karu or is it karu i don't know i'm sorry anyway thank you so much for the name you gave me quite a bit of names i really wanted to use noir for a black horse but then i saw you mention mealy bay horses and well i've really really been wanting a mealy bay they're so cute i tried several times but i had no luck to be honest, I stopped with Moonstone because she has a potential, and that'll help with one of my achievements. Also, I want to do a breeding video in the future when I have the time, so I'm saving up my carrots. So I'm trying not to do hardly any breeding at all for a little bit. Anyway, that's it for today. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the races.